Hi everyone, I'm True Soul, and this is my Star Wars Black Series Clone Collection video. So yeah guys, I was actually planning on doing this the last time uh, May the 4th came around, but there was a couple of clones that I had ordered at the time that still didn't get here, so I decided to hold off on that and just do like a entire Star Wars Black Series uh, collection. But now that some more clones have arrived, I'm going to go ahead and do this video for you now. Now what you're seeing here is 23 clones, 24 if you also add uh, Omega. And right now, I think I have two times the amount of uh, clone troopers compared to like the storm troopers that I have. I think I have like 10 imperial stormtroopers and maybe 10 around 10 first order stormtroopers so i think that kind of tells you right there what i take priority uh for those of you who don't know i'm a big prequel fan and i love clones even more so i'm gonna go, go ahead and do a quick rundown of all of the clones that i have here i have a couple of new ones that some of you might not have seen so let's just go ahead and go from left to right. Now here we have the Kamino Trooper along with uh, Commander Wolf. I know that technically, since this Kamino Trooper is a Kamino Trooper, not actually a Wolf Pack Clone Trooper, but it just looks right having them both displayed next to each other. Um, I also have Commander Gree, which was a Toys R Us exclusive, if I remember correctly. This was the last action figure that I bought from Toys R Us before it closed down. So, got some pretty fond memories with that action figure. And we're going to move over here. Now, behind my Mbara clone trooper, which is one of my newest clone troopers, we have the clone captain uh, this is the phase one clone trooper now for a long time this was the only phase one clone trooper that I have but just recently I bought two more uh, attack of the clone uh, troopers in the back there I just recently opened them up and I gotta say I really do like the slick design on these clone troopers of course they have the new body uh, that most of the troopers have now with the single joints which I think keeps the uh, sculpt of the figure together a lot better so yeah I have two of these now I might end up getting maybe two more but we'll have to see I have kind of gradually slowed down getting uh, Star Wars Black Series figures just because mostly I have all the ones that I really wanted. But enough about that, let's go ahead and move over to the, now let's see if I can remember, the Imperial Clone Shock Troopers I believe these are. And these are Walmart exclusives. Um, I bought two of them and I took the uh, pauldron off of one to kind of make it like a regular trooper. I wanted to get at least one more, but knowing exclusives they're probably really hard to find now, and if you do find them, they're going to be on eBay for an inflated price. So, that's a little bit of a bummer. So, let's go ahead and move on over here to my two clone troopers from Bad Batch. I have Tech and Wrecker. I still need to get Hunter and Cross here. Um, still debating whether or not to get Echo, only just because I have the best version of Echo right over here. So why would I want to get a beat up cyborg version? No offense to anyone that likes that version of Echo, I just didn't really care for him. Especially since he didn't do anything in the show all that much. But enough about that, let's go ahead and move on to 212 I have. Commander Cody and one 212 clone trooper. Um, I know they came out with another 212. I think he was a Walgreens exclusive. Still haven't gotten around to getting one of those. And over here I have Commander Bly and my only default phase two uh, clone trooper. Now this came in a uh, like evolution of uh, trooper evolution pack. And I think he came with like a Stormtrooper, First Order Trooper, and he also came with 
the phase one clone captain over there in that pack as well. Really nice figure. I do wish that they would re-release this as a single so I can at least get one more and maybe give him the new uh, single joints. That would be very nice. But I wanted to save, in my opinion, the best Legion for last. And as you guys can see, I have more of them than everyone else. It's the 501st. I have Commander Rex here. Not Commander Rex. Or is it Commander Rex? I remember he had, in the Clone Wars show, he would gotten a new rank. So he wasn't like a captain anymore. But I can't remember what it was. I think it was a commander. But regardless of that, Captain Rex, Commander Rex, whatever, it's Rex. And also have Echo here, which I believe, I think he was a Target exclusive. Correct me if I'm wrong. I get my exclusives confused. Also got some Star Wars Battlefront 2 uh, clone jet troopers. Really like those guys a lot. They turned out pretty cool. And even though they don't have the new single jointed uh, elbows it seems like the bend on the arm is actually a lot better than some of the other uh, double joints that they've been having and of course in the back I have my 501st clone troopers now I have about four right now and I think I'm pretty content with that I don't want to fill up my uh, display shelf with just a bunch of 501st even though I really like 501st because there might be some more clones down the line that they make that I want to get and of course ladies and gentlemen last but not least my newest edition Omega and I think Omega turned out pretty cool um, just having this like little kid body kind of opens the door up for maybe us potentially getting some more kid characters like maybe episode one Anakin, a kid Boba Fett. I feel like just the fact that they made this that that's most likely down the line somewhere. Now she came with a couple of accessories that I do like. She came with this little creature thing. I do not remember its name so if any of you down in the comments remember what this creature's name is from the show I, that would be very much appreciated. And one thing I think that's kind of cool is this creature actually has a joint that I did not know until I just grabbed it. <laughs> that's kind of cool. Most of the time these little critters don't really have joints. And even though it might, it kind of seems like a kind of pointless joint because why would you want to move it like that or whatever, but hey, I'm not going to complain about them putting joints on a figure. She also comes with this uh, little gas mask if any of you guys remember that from the show and I actually have not tried to put it on her yet so I'm gonna go ahead and do that now and see how it looks boom oh it actually it stays on there pretty well guys you just put it on the face and see right there not gonna oh well it came off that time there it is so if you kind of bend the neck down a little bit it keeps it in place but if you lift it up yeah it'll fall off so that's a nice little accessory and also Omega comes with her trusty laser bow thing I don't know if there's an actual what the actual name of this weapon is in uh, the show now unfortunately it's not an actual functioning bow you can't like pull it back or whatever but it's mostly there for show anyway so I'm gonna go ahead and put this in her hands and see how it looks and there we go guys <laughs> this arrow bow and arrow seems like really big <laughs> for Omega but hey she was using it in the show and she was pretty good but there you go guys this is my clone collection all the clones that I have thus far um, as of right now other than trying to finish off the bad batch I don't really have any plans to get any more clones if anything I might just try to get at least one more of like each regular clone trooper just to kind of have like a pair of them like with the Camino clone trooper and um, maybe another uh, Imperial Shock trooper uh, things like that 
But alright guys, before I start rambling, I'm going to go ahead and finish it off right here. Comment down below if you have any of these clone troopers and which Star Wars Black Series clone trooper action figure is your favorite. And be sure to follow me on my Instagram as we'll stay updated whenever I have plans to upload a video as well as see exclusive photos like of these clones here that you will not see in my videos. Alright guys, until then, be sure to like, subscribe, and go to my channel to check out other videos. Catch you later.